The Scarlet Keep is the final Grandmaster Nightfall in Season of the Witch. Clear it the week of October 17th for a chance to earn the Buzzard Sidearm and an Adept version if you kill every champion. This guide will make that Platinum clear a breeze, but it moves fast. Get three players to power 1815 and let's dive in. Modifiers increase damage by 25%, Surges for outgoing Strand and Void, Overcharge for Snipers and Anti-Champ weapons, and Threat for incoming Arc. There are Barrier and Unstoppable Champs, Arc and Solar Shields, and lots of incoming Arc Attacks and Curse Thralls that will kill you just so quickly. Hunters, try Threadrunner with Whirling Maelstrom and Foe Tracer to give high damage and ability uptime. Or Night Stalker with Trapper's Ambush and Omni Oculus is always a safe bet. Warlocks, try Broodweaver with Swarmers to lock down enemies and harness the recent Threadling buff. Or Well of Radiance with Phoenix Protocol, it'll always get your team out of a tough spot. Titans, Berserker with Abeyant Leap, Shackle Grenades, and Banner of War give crowd control and team healing. While Sunbreaker with Throwing Hammer, Soul Invictus, and Laura Lee Splendor will always keep you alive. We Happens, Anti Barrier, Wish Ender is an infinite ammo workhorse. Ariana's Vow, Rain Solar will come in handy in this strike. For Unstoppables, Fusion Rifles can pull Add Clear Double Duty with perks like Reservoir Burst, Incandescent, or Volt Shot. Scouts are a safe stun, just make sure you have high damage to follow it up. Heavies, machine guns like Retrofit Escapade with target lock melt enemies with huge ammo reserves. Bipod rockets like Apex Predator let you fire up to four rockets in a row at the cost of some damage. On your armor, always prioritize resilience and recovery. For resistances, it's arc and concussive dampener all the way. Across your fire team, run as many ammo finders, scouts, and siphons as possible. Weapon surge mods increase matching damage by 10% for one mod, 17 for two. Proximity ward grants an overshield during finishers. On the seasonal artifact, pick anti-champ and dual siphon mods to match your weapons and subclass element. Monochromatic Maestro boosts matching weapon and subclass damage, and it's stacking more than it should, while Elemental Embrace turns your buffs into 50% damage resist. Into the strike, kill the adds, head through the right door, until you reach a ledge full of Acolytes. Clear the room from the top, then focus on the champ. Kill the wizard on your left, then clear Acolytes down the ramp. There are two void receptacles, one right, one left. Stick together to clear either the left or right path. Kill the major wizard at the end. Bring the void charge back to the receptacle on that side, but be ready for knights, champions, and cursed thralls when you do. Carefully clear the middle, then repeat this on the other side to lower the bridge. Push up the bridge to spawn enemies. Use the wings on the sides for cover. Prioritize the unstoppable, use supers and heavies here. Avoid sniper shots and clear the upper platform. Kill both wizards from range, then push ahead. Prioritize the shrieker, then kill everything else at your own pace. Head up the left stairs, kill enemies before crossing gaps, and look out for janky wizard spawns. Clear the entry platforms to reach the crystals. Stand on the crystal plate for 15 seconds to capture. Repeat this with the left and right plates, but moving to, standing on, and capturing any plate will spawn more enemies. Use this to control the flow. Wizards and champs are brutal, don't be afraid to leave your plates for cover. Capture all three plates to open the door. Kill stragglers up the path, clear small rooms, then use them for cover. Knock out the shrieker first, then clear the rest from a distance. The ramp is attrition. If you just rush in, you might get swarmed. Break the crystal to start the elevator. Acolytes attack from one side of the room. One of these center walls will always keep you safe. First floor, enter from either side and fight your way to the center wizard. Second floor, stay back to take out the unstop ogre. Kill the wizards on both sides to resume. Again, rushing in is risky. Ride the elevator to reach the boss room. Kill wizards to start the fight. Hash Ladoon isn't tanky, but her arc attacks are ultra deadly. Stay far away. Damaging every six of her health spawns adds. Every third makes her immune. Burning her quickly may spawn too many at once. You control the flow. When she's immune, clearing enemies will make her vulnerable, so always prioritize the adds. Use supers and heavy on champs, wizards, and knights. There's decent cover by the outer ledge and side nooks are safest, but the boss may come down here and throw you off. That's it. Just watch out for knights and wizards on her first immune phase and unstop champions on her second. Don't get pinned down, stay out of the middle, and kill Hash Ladoon to clear the strike. That's your quick guide to the Scarlet Keep Grandmaster and Season of the Witch. If these fast endgame guides are helpful, spread the word. I have guides for every Grandmaster and Exotic mission this season, and I'll be back to cover the next dungeons, exotic missions, and Grandmasters in Season 23. If you have tips for builds, weapons, or strategies, comment below. We'll see you next time. Get striking, Guardians.